Here's a quick and easy way to build a backstop of your own. You'll need a tape measure, a wrench, Sharpie, drill with the 3 16th inch drill bit, and something like this to cut the PVC pipe. For material, you'll need three 10 foot long pieces of one and a quarter inch schedule 40 PVC, 12 three inch long number eight machine screws, 12 number eight half inch spacers, 12 one and a quarter inch fender washers, 12 number eight flat washers, 12 number eight nylon insert hex nuts, three one and a quarter inch PVC couplers, two one and a quarter inch elbows, and a number 12 by one and three quarter inch knotted nylon netting, eight feet wide by nine feet tall. First thing you'll need to do is measure the pipe and cut six pieces that are 46 inches long. Make a mark at three inches and 24 inches with two of the cut pipes. Then drill, making sure the holes line up. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Take one of the little flat washers and put it on the screw. Insert it into the pipe, add the spacer, fender washer, and then the hex nut. Repeat this with all three of the other holes you drilled. Use the coupler to connect both PVC pipes with the screw, nuts, spacer, and washers closest to the ends. Here's what I meant by aligning the holes. Notice the screws are all pointing the same way. Now add PVC elbows. Again, you'll need to pay attention to the alignment. The screw should be pointing up and the hole in the elbow should be facing down. This piece will be the top of your backstop. Put it to the side and grab two more pieces of your PVC pipe. For these two pieces, you'll need to drill at three inches, 16 inches, and 32 inches. Like before, pay attention to the alignment. As before, add the hardware and put them to the side. These are the top left and top right portion of the backstop. Now put them to the side and we'll do the base. For the last two pieces of cut PVC, we will need to drill just one hole at 16 inches and add the hardware. For best results, you're gonna need two pieces of rebar about four or five feet long. Hammer the rebar into the ground using the top of the backstop as a guide. Then attach the netting over the fender washers. Make sure there is tension on the net, but not too tight. Now assemble and attach the legs with the screws pointing up. Then attach the netting. Pick the backstop up. You'll probably need some help. Drop it on the rebar. Sometimes it gets stuck. Now attach the bottom of the net and you're ready to go. Bungee cords on the very bottom are a nice addition. There you go.